So you just saw Irimoco flying around. How awesome is that? Let me show you what you get inside the box. This is a stunning piece of kit. Now originally, iRemoco was a Kickstarter project, so it was funded by investors, and for various levels of investment they got different models of the helicopter. Well this is what you're gonna get in the retail version, and the retail version is gonna cost around about 60 to 70 pounds. So you get a really nice printed manual. That's gonna talk you through how to set up and charge the helicopter and then how to control it with that iPhone or iOS application. So lots of different ways of controlling it, lots of feedback in the app as well. I'll show you the app in a short while actually. And this is the contents. So this is what you're gonna get inside the box. And let me show you these two bits first. This one here, this is the uh, transmitter. And this is gonna plug into the base of your iOS device, like so. And that gives you, um, uh, control of the helicopter. There is also a charging port on here and that is charged via this little USB dongle. So this end goes into a USB charger, wall charger or computer. This end goes into here. Where was it? On this side. So this end plugs into here and then you get some feedback on this little dongle. There's a little light on it and it gives you feedback as to when this is fully charged. Now let me show you the helicopter first as well, before I show you the app. This is the iRemoco helicopter. Now, I must point out that there are a lot of these micro helicopters available. I've got one myself already. Um, it's a lot smaller than this, and it costs me around about £25, but it is not anywhere near the quality of this iRemoco helicopter. If I give you a closer look, we've got a lot of metal in here and the cheaper ones are primarily plastic. Yes, this body is plastic and yes, the blades are a sort of, uh, sort of polyurethane type material to give them a bit more rigidity, um, but this is a lot better built than those cheaper ones. Metal shaft down here, very, very good. And as you saw in those uh, flying demonstrations before I showed you this up close, very stable as well. Now just on here, this is where the on off switch is. And then if I turn this over, you can see the little charging port. And you use the same USB charger to charge the helicopter as you do to charge the transmitter. Now one of the negative points, I would have liked to have seen uh, two of these, so a bit of feedback for our Remoco. I would like to be able to charge the transmitter and the helicopter at the same time. So perhaps they can make these available as a little add-on purchase for a few pounds. The actual helicopter itself, wow, absolutely stunning. Let me just pop that down. I wanna give you a look at the app interface. So let me just turn my iPhone on. Now it is suggested by uh, iRemoco that you turn this into airplane mode whilst you're flying the helicopter. And that's because if you got a phone call while you were flying, that would interrupt the transmission from here. So very important that you consider doing that. So here we go, this is the app. We've got a little tick here showing that the transmitter is correctly uh, located in the dock connector. And then we've got two choices, fly with joysticks or fly with motion control. Motion control means we're gonna move the iPhone around like so to control the helicopter. Fly with joysticks, I'll show you in a minute. We've got a little settings button here. Active channel A, B or C, so that means you can switch between channels to control different uh, helicopters. Throttle position can be moved from the left to the right as well. So let's go back, and then we've got a little question mark, and that brings you up to some instructions, getting started, how to fly, online store, help and about. So nicely laid out and very, very easy to get to grips with. Let's have a look at the fly with joysticks control panel. We've got some feedback here as to the battery level that we've got left in the transmitter. Very good. We've also got a little uh, sort of pretend horizon here. We've also got details of what channel we're operating on. We've also got a trim control. And what that does is if the helicopter's in mid-flight and you find that it's pitching one way or the other, you can adjust the trim and that will bring the helicopter to fly in sort of a stable motion. So that trim is very important. And then we've got a throttle control here. So this is making it go sort of higher 
or, or lower so this is increasing the rotation speed of those top blades and then we've got a directional joystick here and this is for changing the direction of the helicopter so that is it this is the iRemoco and it is absolutely stunning a remote control helicopter for the iPhone and iPod absolutely fantastic go to iRemoco.com check it out it's going on sale soon if you weren't lucky enough to get in on the Kickstarter project get in on the website and register your interest it is going to be on sale very soon and highly recommended 60 to 70 pounds might sound a lot but you're getting a quality piece of kit here much better than those cheap 20 pound helicopters thanks very much for watching i'll see you all again in the next video <laughs> <laughs> it didn't even take off.